Hey guys, what's up? It's Malkazaki, and this is going to be episode 2 of my second Road to Maxcape on the newest account. So before we get into the clips, I do have quite a few clips to show you guys. Um, mostly level up clips, but a few quest clips as well. I did in fact complete the uh, temple at Sentiston. Uh, if we undo the hide done and go down to the master quest here, temple at Sentiston is complete. So uh, I have now unlocked curses. Look at that. Beautiful, beautifulness. Um, I have also advanced a few prayer levels since my last video. I believe I was either 70 or 71 prayer last video. Something like that. Uh, now 78. I have been tra training that. Um, also, I just got a farming level before recording this video. And knowing me, I had to noob it up. And I missed the recording. But I did just get 74 farming as well, which allows me to plant more cello mushrooms. So I might start doing them at... Um, I might start doing them, but they're not great profit anymore just because the more cello mushrooms aren't worth very much. But uh, anyways, we have a couple things to get into, so let's get into the bank right away. Uh, this is my farming tab. I have been planting uh, papayas, calquats, and uh, willows because I just can't afford use. I don't have any money um, anymore. Uh, 500k, that is my cash stack in the moment. Um, I have been starting a little bit of Slayer. Uh, this is my uh, developing Slayer tab. Only a couple tasks worth in here. Um, but this is what I have so far from Slayer. Hopefully this eventually, by the time I reach 99, uh, I'll be able to keep myself from selling it, and I'll be able to sell this for a pretty large amount. Uh, these papaya fruits uh, belong in this tab. But the main thing I wanted to talk about is I actually bought 99 Prayer. Um, and before anyone freaks out and says, oh my goodness, you're so rich, uh, this is completely unfair, I had to work months for 99 Prayer, um, I need to talk about this a little bit. I actually lost a lot of money. Uh, and I want to discuss that. So if anyone was watching my videos a couple months ago, I believe I did a bank video a couple months ago, and I talked about how I was merging Torstals. Uh, right before they buffed stats, so they made them more effective, um, I bought uh, 15,000 Torstals for 16k each because I thought they would rise after overloads were buffed. And the exact opposite happened, which um, still has not reversed. So those Torstals that I bought for 16k each, the 15,000 Torstals, I sold them for 8k each, so I literally lost half the money. Um, but I did use the money from those torstals to buy these dragon bones, um, and this is going to get me to 99 prayer. So that's pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, I did lose a ton of money, but I just kind of needed the money now, um, and I had really no use for it later. Um, also, dragon bones have gone up. I bought these like uh, a week ago or a little over a week ago, and I bought them for 2.4k each, and they are now 2.8k each, so they are going up. Um, and I believe these dragon bones, I have used some, and they're still worth more than what I bought them for. So, anyway, that's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully no one's too mad at me for selling my torstals and losing bank. I'm not too stressed about it. It's just pixels. But, uh, anyway, that happened. And it's time to move into the clips now. So these are going to be all the levels that I did get from last episode. Obviously, it is pretty fast to gain levels uh, when you are still at a low total level, and there's not a large amount of experience between levels, so that makes it a lot easier to gather clips. Um, I did not record every single level I got. I did skip a few prayer levels and a couple other levels. Um, there's a couple times where I just completely forgot to record. Again, there's so few experience between levels sometimes that you just get the levels really fast, and uh, you didn't even realize you were close. So anyway, um, these are the levels in the order that um, the order from lowest level to highest level, not necessarily in the order that I got them. But uh, one of the more annoying things that I had to do is I had to train mining up to level 64 from the Curse of Arav. Uh, of all the quests that I had to train for curses, this was by far the worst one. Uh, I think it was even at such a low mining level, it took, still took about an hour between every single level. Um, which I know isn't the most harsh thing, and I've done far worse things in this game. But at the same time, I didn't particularly enjoy especially because it's not AFK. I decided to do the granite method. Um, when I was a noob, I always used to mine granite and bank it. Uh, and it used to be really good money back in the day, because the granite rocks used to be worth a lot more. Um, but even so, in about three hours of mining, I made about 400k. So uh, I made a little bit of money. I probably would have made just as much money mining iron, but I believe the mining granite is a little bit faster. Um, so here's a runecrafting level. Uh, I was so close to runecrafting level for a really long time, and I just never wanted to go back into runespan. Uh, I was about like 800k, 800 XP off or something like that. Uh, and I finally got that runecrafting level. And there's the first prayer level. That was before I started training prayer. So I did get to 71 before I really started training prayer. 
Um, this was another quest I completed, which I believe got me a herbal level as well. Uh, this was the Edgar's Ruse quest, which was really useful because that gave me the uh, the Trollheim teleport, which is just incredibly useful for doing any of the troll quests because there are a lot of tr quests that require you to go up in the troll area. And also, if I ever just decide to go into God Wars dungeon or something along those lines, uh, I'll now be able to use the troll teleport, which makes it a lot easier. Um, so this was a bit earlier today, getting 75 prayer, um, and I believe this is going to be uh, 76 prayer, something like that. So I have been training prayer quite a bit lately. Um, I have a long ways to go, but luckily prayer is one of the faster skills in the game, and it's also uh, somewhat AFK, uh, more or less, so you don't have to pay full attention while doing it. Um, and here's a few quest clips. This first one is going to be um, the Curse of a Rav. That was a really enjoyable quest. I also got a mining level and a summoning level off of that. It gave some really nice mining XP from that quest, but... The Curse of Rav was a really fun quest. I really enjoyed doing that one. It was a blast. Uh, I believe this one is Defender of Varrock as well, which gave a little bit of XP. Um, and I got a couple levels off that, a Hunter level and an Agility level. Agility levels are always nice, and I'm actually pretty close to the next Agility level already, even without training. Uh, I got all the way from level 61 to nearly 64, uh, just from all these quests. And here's the big one. Here is Temple at Sentestin. Uh, which allows me use of the curses, and I get a couple XP lamps off of that as well. Um, I spent one of the XP levels, XP lamps into magic, which I really shouldn't have done. I should have put them both into summoning, but I wasn't really thinking. Um, anyway, I got the curses there, so that was really awesome. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I am going to have another uh, Road to Maxcape video in a few days probably whenever I get some more clips uh, as well as a the uh, now one to 99 thieving guide I really need to start working on that it's kinda hard just to find the time because whenever I have been on RuneScape uh, lately I have just been questing uh, I haven't really had too much time other to do anything else other than quest um, but anyways I will work on that soon so thanks for watching everyone I hope you guys enjoyed uh, and congrats to me for getting curses feels really good to get that achieved